degrees in Ocala. And look at these numbers, triple digits all across the southeast uh, into Texas. Now, oppressive heat is becoming more likely and more frequent because of climate change. So let's talk about the latest research on this. A once in a 50 year heat wave back in 1900, so something you might expect to happen once every 50 years back then, is now five times more likely than it was in 1900. And by 2050, so just three decades from now, a 50 year heat wave back in 1900 will happen every few years. So every three or four years, we'd expect to see one of those. And it will also be five degrees warmer on average, which means the extremes within that heat wave much higher than that. In the U.S., rare heat waves are already three to five degrees warmer. So the kind of heat wave you may expect to see once every 100 plus years. So let's talk about why. Small changes in average temperatures mean big changes in extremes. So this is an average temperature distribution. So kind of the average, cold on this side and extreme heat on that side. Notice how small that sliver is right there. Keep your eye on that because as our average climate shifts, look how much more of this temperature distribution is in extreme heat. And that's why we see such big changes in extreme heat when we see temperatures on average increase. You can see in summers across the United States, temperatures have gone up about two to four degrees on average across all the United States since 1970. Here in the Tampa Bay area, that means a lot more days above average. Used to be about 15 in 1970, and now that is up to about 50. So it's a huge change in just about 50 years or so. Now, in the future, we determine what happens by the amount of fossil fuels we burn and the amount of greenhouse gases that we release into the atmosphere because they trap heat. If we see significant cuts in that, our temperature only goes up another one or two degrees by the end of the century. But if we continue business as usual, our temperatures go up at least another six degrees, and that means heat waves will go up a whole lot more than that. For more Climate Classroom, go to WFLA.com.